Hello, this is David G, and welcome to this week's Life Tools. We're always talking about meditation, but I'd like to share with you a technique that can be proactive as well as reactive when you find yourself in a moment where you truly need stillness, connection to source, connection to your inner divine. So the proactive way is you're preparing for a difficult conversation. You're preparing for the big presentation. You're preparing for the big race, the big athletic competition. Whatever that thing is that you're preparing for, you're bound to have butterflies, distractions, swirls, and things that take you out of your game, out of the zone. And so one of the ways to get yourself right back into the zone is practicing 16 seconds. Now there's the reactive mode of this. Uh, you're hanging out with people and then someone says something to you and you get a little tender or defensive or sensitive. Um, something happens that you're not prepared for and you're not really sure how to react. Someone says something and you've been holding on to some emotional turbulence and you turn that into emotional leakage and zap them back. Uh, we've even had that moment where an innocent person just comes into our awareness and because we've been stewing or sad or self-reflective about something that's bothering us, we snap back at them or we shut down. We treat them as if they have something to do with the original challenge to begin with. So I've talked about this technique before and I encourage you to practice it as well because it works, it works quickly. And not only that, <clears throat> It also gives you insights into the power of meditation. How does meditation work? And what it really does to your physiology and to your chemicals, to your hormones, to your mindset, to your conditioned aspect of response mechanisms. And so it's 16 seconds and it works like this, essentially. Think about something that has been bothering you. Think about something that's been creating some fluttering inside your heart or a weight on your chest or some type of overwhelm or swirl and get clear on that. Maybe there's a person involved in that. Don't go too deep, this isn't therapy, but maybe there's a person involved with that and you can get clear on their face, see their face in your mind's eye and do this all with your eyes open. Maybe you can even sense that sensation somewhere in your physical body, you feel it in your throat. It's tightening or stuck, you feel it in your chest, your heart, there's a weight or some type of, like I said, fluttering going on inside there. That's the emotional turbulence. It can be deeper, it can be in our belly, we can be feeling sick, it can be in our solar plexus, it can be heat, whatever it is. But get clear on that. Last week we talked about emotions and really understanding the subtle nuances of our emotions and this week let's use that, let's continue that practice where we really say to ourselves, oh I'm feeling, and then finish that sentence. Angry, pissed off, irritated, frustrated, anxious, stressed out, and then go deeper into the subtle nuances of even those emotional interpretations. So once you're clear on that thing in your mind's eye, that disturbance, that discomfort, close your eyes and through your nose take a long, slow, deep breath in and watch the breath as it goes into your nose, watch it as it goes down into your belly, and then when it gets down to there, hold it and watch it and witness it and then release that breath, allow it to come back up and watch it the whole way. The key is the watching, the observing, the witnessing. Allow it to go out your nostrils and watch it as it goes back out and leaves and then hold that breath out and keep watching it and witnessing it. And now open your eyes and breathe normally. That was 16 seconds, four in, four hold, four out, four hold. And the key is to watch it the whole time because you can't be in the present moment watching your breath and thinking about that other stuff. Now this is not meant to make it go away. This is meant to bring you into the present. Many um, schools of psychology, NLP, a lot of different schools call it centering, grounding, anchoring, whatever you call it, doesn't really matter. But that allows you to come back to you, your present moment. And then you have to ask yourself in that moment, here I am in this sacred, precious, 
present moment, what am I going to do with it? And that's going to allow you just 16 seconds of pattern interrupt where you can then make a more conscious choice, where you will then be recentered. And even if you just open your eyes and then close them again and keep connecting to that space, it'll connect you to your presence, your present moment, where you're not in the past and you're not in the future. Because that's where all the anxiety and stress and pain and fear is. It's out here on the ends. In here, you're safe, you're pure, you're whole, and you're present. Let's practice that this week. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the gap. Namaste.